How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TV TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we have the new Dynavap 2020M in all of its glory. I'm super excited to dive into this. They've changed the tip, the cap, the body, the airport, and the packaging that it comes in. So there's a lot to get excited about. We're gonna dive in and see what's up. But first, if at any point you like this video, throw us a thumbs up, would you? If you're gonna go scrubbing your way through it, at least leave us a like before you bounce. And if you'd like to buy the 2020M, links will be in the description below. So opening up this guy, they have a fancy new packaging, which is made of 100% recycled material, which is super awesome. And another way that Dynavap is changing up the game. Right away when you pick it up, you can tell that a lot has been changed. So Dynavap is incredibly unique in that it has no electronic parts whatsoever. Load the tip with some ground herb, pack it down gently, and then replace the cap. Aim your torch roughly halfway down the cap so that the blue part of the flame just touches the cap. Spin gently until you hear a click. Once you hear the click, remove the flame, turn off your torch, very important, and then inhale, covering up the airports if you want a bit of a stronger hit. There is no temperature system to speak of in the Dynavap. Really what it comes down to is your torch technique. If you heat it closer to the tip, you will have more flavorful hits and a little bit less vapor. And closer to the base, you will have more vapor and a little bit less flavor. Of course, this is really general and you're gonna have to play around with your torch technique to get the kind of vapor you want specifically, but the learning curve is not super steep and it's not a painful ride to get there. Just make sure you don't keep heating for too long after you hear that click. Otherwise you will combust your material and it will not taste great. The Dynavap can be surprisingly powerful despite its bowl size. It's one of my favorite micro dosers and you get some quality hits off of it. If you run it through a water piece, which as longtime viewers of the channel will know is my favorite thing to do, it will get even better. And we're going to get into the changes they've made to the device that make it even easier to run through a water piece, which is fantastic. And they keep making changes to the device year after year to make it even better. The Dynavap M 2020 can deliver some very good tasting vapor. As we stated above, there are a lot of changes made to the Dynavap 2020 M. So many that we've kind of broken it down into categories. The tip of the 2018 M had a triple helix. The 2019 M had serpentine airflows, but the 2020 M has horizontal cutouts across the top of the tip. They've also added the ability to adjust your bowl to any size by moving the screen around in the tip. I must say I haven't used this feature yet as I regard the size of the M bowl to be kind of perfect. So I haven't messed around with that, but if you have, let us know in the comments down below what you think about it. The VapCap got a small update as well. They're calling it the Captive Cap. It now comes with grooves on both sides to secure the cap on when in use. It can still be easily removed by sticking it on the magnetic part of the Dynastash if you have one of those, and pretty easily with your fingers as well, although remember, it gets pretty damn hot. The new grooves make it less likely to slip off by accident. The new tip also has stronger clicks, which will make it harder to miss the click when it happens. That just means there's less of a chance of you combusting your material accidentally and makes it a lot easier for new users to pick up and use. Dynavab even changed the airport into two airports for calibrated high turbulence air injection, which is just a fancy way of saying the air will be more disturbed as it passes through the device. And that will result in a more even cook and an even distribution of heat. Dynavap has changed the body once again to somehow look even more sleek than its predecessors. It looks and feels better in the hand and rolls a little bit better when heating the device. The mouthpiece has also changed to have the O-ring set in even more, and it's definitely a little more snug. They've also tapered it down so it can fit right into a 10 millimeter downstem, which is nice for anyone who likes to run it through a water piece. I just looked around and realized I don't have a piece with a 10 millimeter downstem, so I might be ordering a glass water piece from Sneaky Pete sometime soon. In terms of portability, the entire Dynavab line is pretty small. It's roughly the same size as a one hitter, possibly a little bit bigger, and even inside the Dynastash can fit neatly into your pocket. 
The only thing that I have forgotten multiple times is the torch. So make sure you have that on your way out the door. It's so small that it will fit in pretty much anyone's hands and is a great device to take on the go. That being said, you do have to use a torch to hit it. So it might not be the most low key device you could use out in public, but hey, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, so. If you're going to take a hit on the go, the most important thing you can remember is the tip does get very hot when you hit it. I've done it multiple times where I've hit it and then tried to put it away and burnt the out of my palm. So just a word of advice. The Dynavab is certainly intimidating at first as there's like a torch involved and there's not a lot of dry herb vaporizers on the market that look anything like this thing. But after a few sessions, it starts to become second nature. You'll definitely need to give a bit of coaching to friends if you want them to use it. I recommend doing the work for them the first time and then let them like play with the carb cap so they feel like they're doing something. Cleaning is very straightforward as the entire unit comes apart super easily and you can drop almost all of the pieces into some isopropyl alcohol or your cleaning solution of choice, shake it up and leave it for about 10 minutes, dry it all off and be able to put it all back together. I found that one 10 minute cleaning session will remove most of the gunk and grime buildup. Uh, on the device. As there's no battery on the Dynavap, the only thing you really need to worry about is the butane levels in your torch. Keep your torch topped up and remember that when you put butane into a torch, it is still disturbed and you wanna let it settle a bit before actually activating the torch or lighting it. Um, don't know why I said activate. If you fill it with butane and then light it immediately, the flame will be about this high and it could cause you to burn your eyebrows and or hair slash face. The Dynavap M2020 is a very unique device and Dynavap have certainly improved on the 2019 model. They've changed almost everything about the device and in my opinion, for the better, for sure. It stands in its own category and anyone who prefers a tactile experience to an electronic one will be happy with the Dynavab 2020. I would call it a great micro dosing device and the flavor and vapor you can get off of this is solid. If you're deciding between the 2019 and the 2020, I would say if you don't already have the 2019, opt for the 2020. And if you do, it's kind of up to you on whether or not you wanna drop that extra dough and pick up the 2020. Holy that was a lot of 20s. And that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something, please tap, tap that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and that little bell to stay up to date on all of our latest. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different Vaporizer review, if you just don't like the way that I move my hands around so much and lean back in the chair, let me know in the comments below. I will not pay attention to them because if you're really being that nitpicky, like who cares? Thank you so much again for watching this one. Until next time, my name's Alex for T-Vape TV, and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.